now watching West Harper Community Sorry. Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. For the community, by the community. Are you ready for a new church experience? One that is fresh, organic, out of the box, totally revolutionary. If yes, then you are ready for the gathering place. A new church experience. Don't touch that remote. I'll be right back to tell you all about it. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success from the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Yes, an inspired success today. Oh my goodness, I am excited to introduce to you my latest spiritual venture, the gathering place, a new church movement, you know, one that is really totally um, revolutionary. It defines what church is and how church is done. And before, you know, I, I, I share more with you, you know, about um, the gathering place and about this new church movement. Um, I want to share with you the, the backstory, you know, the, the journey that led me to this, to this new venture. And um, you, you might know this, or you might not know this, but two and a half years ago, I began a transitional journey. I began this transition out of my marriage and also out of my, you know, ministry or, 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 or spiritually, you know, uh, or church, because... Um, my my the way I fulfilled my ministry at the time and um, the way I, I I did church was within the context was in affiliation you know it, within the context of my former marriage and in affiliation with that former relationship and um, you know so I began this transition and um, but before I actually began the transition you know I was at a point where I was very very frustrated with church. This was spiritually now, just not sharing um, the personal, but the spiritually, I was just very frustrated with church as usual. You know, I was, I was tired. I was tired of the routine. I was tired of the messages. It just seems, you know, like the same old, same old, day in, day out, week in, week out. I, I didn't feel challenged, um, you know. I wasn't challenged by by the messages. I wasn't challenged out of my comfort zone, and and I was just tired. I was just just frustrated, and um, I guess that frustration as well, kind of you know, is spilled over. I don't know whether it spilled over into. Uh, my my personal relationship at the time, or or it was the frustration in the personal relationship that spilled over re, um, spiritually. But I uh, but that was where I was, and um, I I made the bold decision, you know, to to transition to end and end end the relationship, and um, you know, really kind of just move forward with my life. And and as I began this. Um, transition you know and i made that decision um i was surprised at the response of of the church 
um, you know, a few people, very few, a, a few people, but very few people reached out to me. And um, the few people who did, you know, and this was me being, you know, I've been in church, um, you know, for over a quarter of a century. I know I don't look that old. I know that. But um, for over a quarter of a century, I've been, um, you know, a born again Christian and part of this denomination in particular. I've pioneered churches, I've led churches and para churches, I've given and donated all pro bono, by the way. All I wasn't getting paid. You know, I did all of this, you know, um, and invested all of this in the church. And, um, you know, so when I began the transition, I made the decision, you know, that I was no longer going to continue in this in this relationship any longer. Um, yeah, a few people reached out to me and and the few who did, the few who did, I felt were more concerned about the um, about me retracting my decision rather than concerned about what led to my decision, you know, and um you know, and yeah, and it was an eye opener for me. It was just an eye opener for me. And it made me begin to question really what is church? What is Christianity? What is it all about? It seemed like the emphasis was really about, you know, more of the outward and not about the health of relationship. Um, there was no accountability anywhere. I felt the emphasis was on me as a woman. Um, and, and, and there was less emphasis on the other part, person and, and there was no accountability. I felt as long as, you know, the, 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 the ministry continues and the membership isn't Im impacted too negatively and the bottom line isn't impacted too negatively, it didn't really matter, you know, you know, what was going on or what wasn't going on. And so it was an eye opener for me at the time. I I just put it down to this particular, um, you know, denomination, and I put it down to some cultural cultural issues as well. And so um, you know, as I transitioned spiritually, I I then <laughs> joined. Well, I didn't become a member, but I I started visiting a white church, you know, and um, the the response wasn't any different. The response wasn't different. Um, I felt there was more of a desire to control, you know, to control me, um, to bring me under them, to, um, you know, to make me a member, to make me submit. It was more about that. That was seemed to be the emphasis for me and to me, to me that, that they had. And it was not really about helping and helping to empower or equip or support a pop me. So, um, you know, and I then visited one or two others. And like I said, it just made me begin to really kind of ask some questions and really soul search. And my question is, what is the church and what is Christianity all about? What is it about? What is it really when it comes to the basics, you know, what is it about? And, and as I began this search and this questioning, you know, I, I, dove, I drove more into, drove me more into the, into the Bible to begin to search more into prayer and communicating with God. And it was in that process of praying, seeking God's face and really saying, what is it really about? What is Christianity? What is church? You know, what is church? Because what I encountered didn't seem like what I understood church to be. And um, my answer came in that, you know, in that, you know, soul search, in this journey with, and this kind of musing and communing with God and, and, and digging into the word of God to this place of understanding, this epiphany, this what I call an awakening, you know, where I, I suddenly realized that church is who we are and not where we go. It's not a building we go. Church is who we are. And oh my, honestly, for me, that was a huge mindset shift. You know, it was a huge shift in terms of how I really conceptualized church. Because for a long time, subconsciously, you know, I'd come to believe and define church as a place that I go to. 
an activity that I do, you know, um, outside of me. And, and, and with this epiphany, with this awakening, I realized, wow, I am the church, you know. The Most High no longer dwells with temples made with our hands any longer. I am the temple of God. I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. God dwells in me, you know. And, I, and, I, and so I am the church. I am, I am the ecclesiast, the called out one, you know, that is called out, that God indwells for me to go and be the church out there in the world. And like I said, it was just a huge shift. And so in that shift, you know, there was a, a, a less emphasis on the building, less emphasis for me now on the ritual and more emphasis on me, the person, you know, and what was, you know, uh, the God in me. And so that was one, one of the shifts, one was the revelations that I got, the epiphanies that I got in this, this en uh, awakening, this encounter with God. And um, the second one was, um, is that um, Christianity is about love. It's about love. It's about relationships. You know, um, the, the core scripture of the New Testament that talks about for God so loved the world. You know, so loved is about love. God so loved the world, he gave his son so that, you know, you and I, humanity, could be in relationship with him eternally. That's what it's about. That's what Christianity is about. That's what the cross is about. That is what Jesus came to do, to reconcile us, to bring us back into relationship with God, a loving, intimate, father-child relationship. So it's about love. It's not about and, and relationship. It's not about dogma. It's not about the doctrine of the rituals or, or giving or, or whatever. It's just about love. And, and, I, and, and for me, like, like I said, that was also a huge shift, a huge shift in, in the conceptualization and my understanding. Because you start thinking Christianity is so many other things that is not. At the core of it, it's about love and it's about relationship. God wants to have a loving relationship with humanity, you know, who, is create, who he created in his image. And, and through us, he wants to, you know, um, pour out and demonstrate that love to a dying world. And, and I got it. I got it. And, um, and, and, I, and I, I didn't find it out there. I didn't find it out there. I searched. I tried to belong. I tried to conform into me with so many community, faith communities that were already existing. And, and I just didn't find one that kind of really um, spoke to me now uh, in my awakened state in, in this new revelation that I had. And after several, it would took me several months, even years, I'll say a couple of years that of going through counseling, praying and everything, I finally felt in my spirit that what God was saying was that I should go and, and be the one to build that new church, you know, build the new church. You go and be the change you want to see, kind of, pretty much, was what I felt God um, was saying to me. And, and that is what led me to the gathering place. Um, the gathering place um, is, the, is the new church movement, new church, you know. And new is NU is the acronym for new and unique. It's a new and unique um, church experience. And, um, you know, so what is this gathering place? What is this new, new church experience? Number one, you know, one is that um, the new church really um, de-emphasizes the building and has greater emphasis on the people. Remember that in my epiphany, that was one of the shifts that I made in my definition. You know, it was more that I am the church and not the building. And church is who I am and not what I do, you know. And so the new church, the gathering place, is going to place more emphasis on the people and less emphasis on the building. And, and I'm building programs, I'm building projects and, and things like that. It's about the people. And, and that is actually why I, uh, how I came up with 
the name, the name, the gathering place, because I didn't want to give it, you know, a more traditional name of a church, you know, of naming the building as, you know, so so worship place, so so church. You know, I, I wanted to remove all that from 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 the name because I wanted the emphasis to be on on the people. It's just the 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 new church is real. Uh, it comes from a place of understanding that the building is just the building. It's just a building. It's the place that houses you know the the people, the gathering of the people, the assembly of the people. And what the Bible actually um, teaches us is not to admonishes us. It's not that we should go to church. It says we should not forsake our gathering together, you know. So it's about the gathering of the people. And, 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 and so what makes the building or any location hallowed and sacred is not the building in itself. It's because the people uh, are hallowed and sacred because they embody and carry God's presence in them. And anywhere they gather it makes it holy and, and sacred. And, and, and um, if you look at the early church, you know, the, 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 they, they hardly met actually in buildings. They actually met in homes. The church, you and I, the body, met together in small groups in, in homes. And so that is one of the uniqueness of the, of the new church, of the gathering place. Less emphasis so on, 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 on building and more emphasis on people. So there's a, a greater focus on building people. So that's the second uniqueness, you know. So we're going to be focused on building people, on empowering the individual believer, you know, equipping the individual believer to go out into the world, into the marketplace, into the world, and be the church, and, and, and be the light and the salt that God has called them to be where it is needed. And, and so it's going to be very empowering. It's going to be very, um, you know, it's going to focus on equipping, you know, and building the people. And, and, and that, that brings me to the third uniqueness. And, and um, you know, the third uniqueness is, uh, is now going to be more teaching and discipleship based rather than preaching. You know, based. I find that a lot of of the churches, you know, and a lot of churches, you know, a lot, it's a lot of preaching. And preaching is good. Preaching can awaken and inspire you. But teaching is what equips you. You know, there, there's less equipping and less training for the b believer for the work of the ministry, which is the work of the ministry is really go go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Go ye and disciple others. You know, so if you're just tuning in, this is Princess Bola ending 2014 on a spiritual note, really, on a really spiritual high note. You know me, I'm, I'm a woman of faith. I love Jesus. I'm a spiritual woman. Uh, uh, I'm a minister. That's the other part of, you know, my daytime or nighttime job. I don't know which one it is now, you know, other than the success, success coach. And, and, and even my success, you know, my whole success coaching and theology uh, and philosophy is really holistic. That really includes the whole, the whole person anyway. And, and, and so, yeah, I'm ending 2014 on a very high spiritual note um, and sharing this new venture um, of mine, it's spiritual venture, the gathering place, uh, which is a very new uh, and unique way of, of doing church. It, it redefines, it's revolutionary, it redefines what church is and how church is done. And, you know, I've shared with you, you know, my journey, a bit of a background into how I came to this new venture, you know, how I came to this new venture of my transition and, and the kind of all, all, all that I, I saw and was confronted with in church, you know, um, and, and how that was what led to me really praying and seeking God's face and, and God just using all that to really open my eyes, really, to, to see what the truth is and, and what church is and what Christianity is. And, and so that's what's brought me to the gathering place. Um, it will be officially launched, um, you know, if you're in Connecticut, um, on um, Friday, December 5th. 
um, at St. James Church in West Hartford, Connecticut um, at 7 p.m. And our first service, the inaugural service, is going to be on Sunday, the Sunday following, which is the 7th of um, December. And, and we'll be meeting um, at Elmwood Community Center. It's on 1106 um, New Britain Avenue in West Hartford, Connecticut at 11 a.m. And so I'm just kind of sharing with you what is the new church, the new church. It was this new and unique church um, experience uh, movement that, um, you know, I'm launching. And um, yeah, I, and I've said three things so far. You know, it de-emphasizes the building, emphasis, greater emphasis on the people because we are the temple, you know. It's not about the location. Church is who we are, not where we go to. Um, it's going to be really focused on empowering, equipping, building the individual believers to go and be the church outside the walls of the gathering of the church, building, facility where they meet. So we're going to be equipping, and so it's going to be a lot of teaching-based, discipleship-based. It's going to be fresh, you know, that's the fourth thing. Fresh, it's going to be organic, you know, it's going to be totally out of the box. It's revolutionary. If you know me anyway, those who know me, they know that I am just <laughs> a non-conformist, you know. I'm not conformed to the world. I'm a transformist. I'm a very innovative and creative person. I like to think outside the box. So this definitely is going to be just revolutionary in that sense that there'll be less structure, you know. It's not it's going to be structured and regimented, you know. And so we're going to allow greater room for the Holy Spirit to move, you know. Um, not that there, I'm not saying that there won't be order. There's order, but there has to be, there is going to be less structure, you know. It's not going to be five minutes, we're going to do the sermon, ten minutes for praise and worship, ten minutes to take the offering, five minutes. It's not going to be like that, no. It's just going to be less, you know, very less informal, less structured, le less regimented, and more organic, more freedom in terms of expressing and, and, and moving any way we kind of sense the Holy Spirit wants to move. Yes, but in every service, yes, absolutely, we're going to be digging deep into the Word. You know, like I said, teaching-based, Bible-based, Christ-centered, um, and, and also very... Um, you know, spirit led. So that's, you know, the fourth uniqueness. Um, the fifth uniqueness is that it is, it is going to be authentic. It's going to be very authentic. Um, I feel that a lot of mask and censors in church and there's no authenticity. There's a lot of judgment. And so because we're going to be authentic, uh, we're going to be real. It's going to be loving um, you know, there's going to be less judgment. Uh, it's a way people, we come coming from a place where you recognize that people are at different phases in their journey, in their spiritual journey, and giving them uh, um, the freedom to grow and allowing the Holy Spirit to be the one to engineer that growth. And so we're not going to police people. We're not going to control or try and manipulate people. And, um, you know, so that's the fifth one. So it's Princess Bola, um, inspired success, sharing the new church experience with you. Sundays at Elmwood Community Ch Center, Com Elmwood Community Center, 1106 New Britain Avenue, West Hartford, Connecticut at 11 a.m. Um, if you're around town, you're going, you can join us uh, for the lunch. Uh, launching on, 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 on December 5th, Friday at St. James Church. And you can also go to RadicalFaithRevolution.com for more information. So that, that, that's the fifth, um, you know, uniqueness of the new church, of the gathering place. Um, the, the, the sixth one is that it is, it, it is just going to be, um, it's going to be, you know, I said, I said it's going to be fresh, it's going to be organic, it's not going to be so much structure. It's going to be inclusive and very interactive, you know. And, and, and you know, I, I come from this place where, you know, I believe that everyone brings something to the table. And so the lines be between laity and piety is going to be very thin at the gathering place because as far as I'm concerned, everyone is a minister. Everyone has a gift and a talent 
and something that they bring to the table that God has blessed them with. Everyone is ordained. Jesus said, I've not chosen you, uh, but you, uh, you have not chosen me. I've chosen you and ordained you uh, to go and bear fruit and your fruit should remain. So we already have all the ordination and, the, the, and, and all of that from the Lord himself. And so, yeah, it's going to be interactive, inclusive. There'll be enough room regardless of your gender. Uh, uh, your race to express the giftings that God has given you. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I, I'm not out of words, I'm out of time, but those are that kind of sort of the core, um, you know, attributes and, and, and uniqueness and characteristics of, of the new church, of the gathering place. And um, we're going to leverage technology so that if you're not even, you know, uh, in this locality you know um, we're going to leverage technology such that i'm hope i'm believing that you'll be able to stream on demand you can go online and watch videos and things like that you know and we're going to really kind of leverage technology to really kind of get the message out and 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 it's not member based no membership no no you're already members of the body of christ so you don't need to be a member for you to um to be supported or for you to support, you know, and all that. So there's no membership. There are no members. You're, you're members of the body of Christ. It's Christ. We already belong to him. It's just a place that you come and, and fellowship and be in community and, and empower and equip and, and celebrate and, and enjoy and, um, you know, the goodness of our God. So I really look forward to seeing you. That is my story. That is my journey. And um, that is what the backstory uh, for the gathering place, um, you know, a new church experience. So like I said, I look forward to seeing you schedule permits on Friday when we're going to be, you know, officially launching it through um, a night of worship and pray at St. James Church um, at 7 p.m. And then our first service, our subsequent services will be at Elmwood Community Center New Britain Avenue in West Hartford at 11 a.m. I look forward to seeing you and um, I wish you and yours um, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach, reminding you to keep smiling. Hey, put a smile over your face. Life's too short. Keep learning. Keep believing. Keep networking. Keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side and I look forward to seeing you in 2015. God bless. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,